Hello, my name is Wan Jun Chang. In this presentation, I will introduce the process of Poisson image blending to make more seamless blended images. This is a project overview. Given a source image and a target image, our goal is to seamlessly blend them into one natural image. First, get a mask from the source image, which part we want to attach to the target image. Second, select a location where the masked image will be attached. The Poisson blending technique is then used to blend the images more naturally. The key idea is to solve the optimization problem to match the intensities and the gradients to the desired values. The Poisson blending technique is a gradient domain image processing. It can be represented as the optimization problem, actually the least square problem. These are the notation and the objective function. The objective mainly consists of two terms. The first term encourages the new image to retain the gradients of the source images. The second term makes the boundary more seamless. Before implementing Poisson blending, I tried to solve the toy problem. The goal is to reconstruct the image by using the gradient information of the original image. There are three terms in the objective function. X gradient constraint, Y gradient constraint, and intensity value constraint for one top left pixel. In MATLAB, I construct a matrix A and a vector B according to the equations. By solving the problem, I got the reconstructed image. It looks same as the original image, and actually the error was very low. Let's get back to Poisson blending. First, we need to decide the boundary of the source image and the location in the target image where we attach the masked image. You can check the code details in my GitHub page. Using getMask function, get the polygon information through drawing the boundary. Using align source function, choose a bottom center point to attach the source image. I revised the code to get the second point for resizing the source image. By computing the difference of y-axis value of given two points, the size of source image can be rescaled easily. From this process, we finally obtained the resized and aligned mask information. So we are ready to design a matrix equation for Poisson blending. There are two changes for the implementation. We should add the boundary constraints on the matrix. The second term in the objective function decrease the gap of pixel intensities near the boundary. And since we now consider RGB colored images, we should solve the least square problem for each color and combine the results. Furthermore, there is one variant of the technique with different gradient settings. We can also use the gradient in source or target with a larger magnitude as the guide. It can be useful or not, depending on the source image. I will show the effect in the results later. These are the blending results for penguin images. I attached the penguins on the top of the snow. Since they are too small to check the results, I expanded them. 
there are some differences between two approaches. When using the source gradient, the remaining part in the masked area, which means the part does not contain the object, may result in unnatural seams. In these cases, it doesn't matter because the backgrounds of the source image and the target image have similar color ranges. When using mixed gradient, this potential problem will be elevated, but some background components appear. It is because there are larger gradients in the target background image. I prepared my own images to observe various results of Poisson blending. There are three source images, duck, UFO and Ghost. And there are three target images which I took in my trips. Harstadt, Shanghai, Kyoto. I edit the dog image on the stream. Using the source gradient, it helps to blend the images more naturally. On the other hand, Mixed gradient induce a bad texture of the dog. Since the, some gradients of the stream have larger magnitude and they are reflected in the result. The second blended image is Shanghai with UFO in the sky. In both cases, the UFO is attached successfully it is because the sky has very small gradient. However, the color of the UFO highly depends on the color of the sky, so it is to get blue color. The final image is the ghost in the dark woods. I chose to add the ghost in order to show the effect of the mixed gradient setting. In this case, using mixed gradients makes the ghost translucent since the gradients of the background appear. It feels more scary. So it is one example when using mixed gradients has some advantages. This is the end of the today project. Thank you.